Hi, I'm Anya Saffer, co-director of It Makes a Sound. Welcome back, and thank you for listening. This episode is brought to you by Zola. Zola is reinventing the wedding registry to make the happiest moments in a couple's life even happier. What gifts have you received that brought you the most joy? Do you remember the moment you opened them? And what gifts have you been most excited to give someone in your life? Do you remember the moment you found that perfect present? With over 500 top brands and 50,000 gifts and experiences, Zola Registry has everything you love about your favorite department store, plus things like honeymoon funds, fitness classes, wine subscriptions, and so much more. It's very easy to use for couples and their guests, so there's no wedding stress. Don't stress. And their friendly customer service team will go above and beyond to help you find exactly what you're looking for. To sign up with Zola and receive a $50 credit towards your registry, go to Zola.com slash sound. That's Zola, Z-O-L-A dot com slash sound. And now, on to episode six. When a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it, It makes a sound. You guys, you're really muddy. How'd it go? Where's mom? Uh, she's taking a nap. Oh, okay. Everybody to the attic. To the attic. Okay. Uh, uh, where, where's the baby monitor? Do you oh, have? I have it. Yeah, get oh, it. Bring it up. Can here. I carry it? Yeah. Uh, Please. Maybe with not okay. with your mother. Oh, okay. Grab those so, chairs, yeah, watch everybody. The wall. Let's okay. sit down. Oh, Cody. Cody, help me clear well, this I'm desk. Getting muddy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello. This is it. Makes a sound. On our last episode, just an hour ago, my mother remembered something and gave us an incredible clue into the history of Wim Farrow's with these words. I saw that young man digging today with a shovel, digging next to his trolls. What do you think he buried down there? Well, I think she said, who did he bury down there? Perhaps it was one of the most goose bump-inducing moments of our lives. It was like, it was like traveling in a time machine with mom back to the day in 1992 when she happened to drive past the cul-de-sac on Camellia Road. Was it true? Was there something buried in what used to be the garden of what used to be the front yard of what used to be Wim Farros's modest two-story bungalow on the other side of the fence from Rosemary Hill's golf course community? Listeners, there was something. There was something. We have the answer. We found it. We have it. It's here. Rod, please describe what I am holding in my dirt-covered hands to the audience. Uh, uh, Tupperware. Well, it it is a medium-sized, airtight container that must have been inserted into the earth decades ago by Wim Farrow. It was awesome. There were worms everywhere, like everywhere. I took one. Look. Uh, Yeah, that's nice. And on today's show, (laughs) we will open it and we will examine the contents 
Live. Okay. I'm Deirdre Gardner. I am coming to you from an attic in a townhouse on the edge of Rosemary Hills Golf Course community. Today... Today has been a really incredible day. Yes. For all of us. Yeah. Together we have had highs, we have had lows, Mm -hmm. and near miraculous surprises. And it's only (laughs) mid-afternoon. Welcome, once again, to It Makes a Sound, where wonders never cease. In our last episode, together, we experienced intense devastation when the attic tape was savagely eaten by Trisha Elwood's boombox. And then mom, my mom, had a beautiful and rare moment of clarity induced by Wim Ferros's music and said something that led me to believe that back in the day, Wim Ferros buried something in his garden. We heard Mom's clue, and it was up to me to see if there was something to uncover. So what did I do? I grabbed an old shovel, and I ran. And I helped! And and Cody Elwood ran ran after me. and I dug! We crossed the fairway. Mm -hmm. We climbed through... Overgrown reeds we and, and knotted sand traps until we got to the fence. The fence that was built in the early 90s. The fence that separated the old part of town, the original Rosemary Hills, from the golf course. We can, we can make out that fence even from here. Look out of the small smoky window of the attic. The fence that butts up against the back of Wim Ferros's two-story bungalow. Yeah, I, I see it. The fence that curls upward at the bottom, perhaps because of a run-in with a Chrysler LeBaron convertible. The fence that curls up just enough for, for someone small, someone small like Cody, to fit through. I'm not that small. You're just big. <laughs> we, ma- we made our way across that fence. She and we arrived at the abandoned property of the Pharos residence. Rotting wood still outlines the small garden around the mailbox where Wim Pharos used to assemble his trolls in various tableaux. We dug. We dug. And we dug. We dug a lot. <laughs> First the earth resisted and denied. Mm-hmm. But... What did we do? We dug! We dug Mm -hmm. until the earth crumbled and yielded Yielded. and offered forth the past into the present. It was a mess. We dug up the whole thing, Rod. (laughs) Listeners, today we take a great leap forward towards communing with Wim Ferros. When I open this box, I will touch what no one has touched since Wim Ferros touched it nearly 25 years ago, his fingerprints directly onto mine. Wow. And here we go. Rod, could we do drums? Sorry? Aren't you supposed to have music for big events? Oh, uh, you mean a drum roll? Drum roll. You know, you're right, Cody. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. okay. How do I do it? How do I... Yeah, here, Cody. Uh, t- you go like this. Whoa. Yeah? Okay. 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 All right, go ahead and do it. Hang on. Right. Yeah, like that. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, she's opening the Tupperware. Wim Ferro's magic Tupperware. <gasps> it's open. <gasps> oh, the smell. I think it smells like the 90s. <laughs> like teen spirit. <laughs> what, what, what's in it? What's in it? Well, there, there are several different bundles wrapped in newspaper. Oh. oh. I will now open the first bundle. Drum rolls. Yes. In the first packet we have, it's a troll doll. Of course, it's one of his trolls. Troll doll. Hmm. It is a Russ troll doll with red, white, and blue hair. Wearing a dress consisting of a white blouse, a blue belt with stars, and a red skirt. Oh, I'm patriotic. Of all his trolls, this one. Fascinating. To make us first think of America. It must be subversive, somehow. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Let's see, in the next bundle. Drum rolls! Cool! 
four golf balls cut in half. Oh, that's pretty neat. I, I didn't know they looked like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's compressed rubber in, in different color layers, uh. Uh, all poured in there F- for specific reasons, of course, um, y- y- like bounce and spin. They, they look uh-huh. like planets. Yes, Cody, uh-huh. exactly. Can I see them? Listeners, like beautiful planets. Can I see them? Hmm. Take it. Okay. There's pink and blue Ooh. and gray. And one is yellow and orange and red like all together. Yellow. They shimmer. Gosh, an object so ubiquitous of this place. He found the hidden colorful world contained within beaten up abandoned golf balls. Of course, mm. exactly. What, what, what else, what else? Drum rolls. Oh, oh listeners, a, a seeds. Literally, here's a packet of seeds. Seeds? He's given us seeds. Different kinds. Rare seeds. What a gorgeous idea. Mm. Wim Pharos, we shall plant these seeds. Well, what's, what's this, what's this big one? Um, Drum roll! <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh. Um, cool Aid Squeeze Koala Yummies. Oh. The one, two, three, four, five, six tongue splashers, a packet of Dunkaroos, oh. um, and shark bites. It's candy. And Werther's. Oh, my grandma ate those. That's that's candy. She died, though. Um, I'm sorry to it's hear It's more that, than that. That's okay. Oh. This is a... T- I'm sorry, too, that's Cody. Okay. Yeah. This is a time oh, capsule. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to It Makes a Sound. I'm Deirdre Gardner, and we are opening the time capsule buried by Wim Pharos. Could it be that, that these are my Halloween Worthers from 1992? It's a sign. We're opening a time capsule! <laughs> Is there anything else? <laughs> well, gosh, I don't think so. Wait, wait, there's, I feel... No, wait, there's plastic at the bottom. Wait, it's a laminated sleeve. Is something's in here. It's a note. Is it? Ple- oh, please be a note. Ooh, what's it say? It's a coaster. There's writing on it. What is it? Oh say? my God! This must be Wim Farrow's handwriting. I know these coasters. It's from Rosemary Hill's Clubhouse. It must. Be- oh my. Rod, it's lyrics. It's oh. lyrics of the wow. songs. Some of the lyrics. Oh, and and some some chord notations. Hey. A date. Is- Look, he wrote the date. Six twenty one ninety two, listeners. That was the date of Trisha's eighth grade graduation party. This is from the concert. And, and his court charts, uh, like, like his like cheat sheet. What? We have his cheat sheet on this coaster. What did he cheat on? Uh, whoa, buddy, your tongue is really green. Cody, Cody, look at me. D- did you eat one of Wim Ferris's gumballs? No. Cody, I, I think you might not be telling the truth. I didn't. <laughs> well, that's good, because, you know, it paints your mouth forever. Right, Rod? Uh, oh, yeah, it was splashers, green tongue forever. For- we forever. All, yeah, we all knew that. We all knew kids, that. So good thing you didn't. Okay, I did it. I did it. I'm sorry. I did it. I... I- I didn't want my tongue green forever. I just wanted to taste it. Cody. Uh, I love gum. That, that gum is over 20 years old. How was it? It was so good. I swallowed it. <sighs> oh, Cody. Listen, you just have to tell the truth. No, I just... Because you told the truth, your tongue won't stay green forever. Just really? for many, many hours. But, Cody, everything from the time capsule is really important. And special, and amazing, and rare, because it belonged to Wim Pharos. So we have to keep it really safe, okay? Okay. It's sacred. Okay, sacred. That was sacred gum. Okay. It wasn't right to steal it, but... I'm sorry. Okay, Cody. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. Do you know what this means? No. What does it mean? It means that you have a little piece of sacred Wim Ferris memorabilia inside you now. Really? Wim Ferris is part of you, in your guts. So that's a really special responsibility. I feel special. 
Well, good. Everything is wet. Oh. The floor is after oh, me. Oh, oh, mom, oh. mom, I'm coming. Hang on. I, I got her. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Gardner. Let me help you up the stairs. Oh, okay, never mind. You're very fast. All the paper on the floor. Pick up your mess. Messers. Sorry, mom. It's okay, Deirdre. I, I, I'll pick it up, Mrs. G. You don't, you don't have to. Mom. Mom, we found what Wim Farrow's buried. What you saw. It was a time capsule. We found it thanks to you. This here's a pretty girl. I'm a boy. You look, you. Look, you, you are nice in that picture. Sweet girl. That's not me. Uh, hey, Deirdre, look. Uh, this uh, piece of newspaper he's used for wrapping. What? The Rosemary Hills Gazette. Can I see, Mom? Oh my gosh, the Gazette. <gasps> what? What? I, I want to see. Above, Deirdre Gardner, 12, Rosemary Hills, stands next to her award-winning weaving at Rosemary Hills Middle School's Fall Into Arts competition. That's a picture of you? Yes. It is. It, it is. It's, it's from when I won the art contest. What, what could... The coincidence... I, I can't... I mean, this must mean something. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in Wim Ferros's time capsule, the, the newspaper, a, a, a piece of the newspaper, a, a scrap, like a scrap that he used to wrap his treasures around 1992, there's me. I'm in the paper. I was in the paper for my weaving. I, I don't know how. I mean, the serendipity of it, right? I mean, the Gazette. The paper is from 1991. What? That's a stunner. The Rosemary Hills Gazette with your picture is from 91, not 92. Maybe he saved it? But, no. He didn't really know me. I was, I was just in the periphery. It's, it's true that it's an amazing... But he didn't know me. He saw me sometimes around the golf course, but... All the glass I, doors and glass onions I mean, and glass. I mean, we never Who's spoke. Next pretty girl. Me? Who else? Well, I'm a oh pretty girl. Oh my god. Um. I, yes. Nice, Cody. I, I can't believe it. My picture. He, he must have just grabbed it, right? I mean, people keep newspapers for kindling and and packing, maybe. And Windex. Um, okay, okay, listeners, um, well, we are, we are obviously just at the beginning of understanding the full significance of these magnificent relics. Um, there will be much debate and much unpacking of the various interpretations of why Wim chose these particular particular objects to encapsulate. <sighs> but most thrilling for now is, is that we have the gift of the music across the decades, exactly in our moment of need, a cheat sheet, a which are scribbled chart. words and chords to remember. And I am positive, I am positive, Rosemary Hills, that with the aid of this coaster, we will be able to restore with exactitude all the songs on the attic tape. Uh, I mean, this here weaves the weaver, the imperfect, weaving something, tying knots to hide the phrase. Jeez, <laughs> this writing is so small. Uh, see those ha hats? No, holes. See those holes and gaps mid-sentence. I, I speak, speak gaps, gaps and, and holes. holes. Now, couldn't that be, you know, about I, your picture in the paper? I think... I think it, it does um, sound like me. C7 or G. But I, I had no idea. I hated that weaving. Um, I, I was so embarrassed that it won a prize. Look at my face in this picture. I'm grimacing. All I could do was make that weird, ugly, uneven thing. By age 12, do you know King Tut had reunited Egypt? That's what we learned in school. And I lived in a world where Wim Ferros existed. But... Not in a world where he knew I existed. But that must be. It's me. 
Wimferos knew me. Maybe he liked my weaving. My face and my art in his time capsule. I think your weaving looks really cool. You know, Cody, thanks. I do too now. I see it. Let's sing it. Me too. Yeah. Me too. But we, but we only have that first verse, guys, and I don't remember it. Well, maybe we can uh, figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. How? <laughs> uh, so it says, weaves the weaver, the imperfect, weaving something, tying knots to hide the phrase, see those holes and gaps mid-sentence, I speak gaps and holes. Mm. Mm. Did he write na 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 Weaving weaver yeah. chose her colors, <laughs> maybe turquoise, maybe blue. That's what won you an award. All we see is black and white now. Loose knots, my flattened cord. My flattened cord. <laughs> weaving, weaving, <laughs> weeping willow. No, crying tree, crying spree. Grows a slant to brook. Went down her weedy trophies and herself fell in the weeping brook. Sing, Mom, can you sing? Wah, 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 wah. Little flowers, nettles, daisies of long purples. Squawking dirty birds. Oh, no, that's not birds. Then she is drowned. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Drown, drown. Sinking, singing. I'm singing. Sing, yes, yeah, sing. Weaving, weeper, weeping. Well, that sounded nothing like Wim Pharos. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I, th those weren't his lyrics. But I think it sounded really cool. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me well, and yeah. me too. Yeah, so yes, it was cool. It was very interesting, uh, but, but it wasn't right. Mrs. Gardner, was that Shakespeare? It's cool. Yeah, she played Ophelia in Rosemary Hills Community Theater when I was little. I mean, Mom was an actress. Didn't I tell you that? As a hobby, you know, but she, she was really good. They also performed at the clubhouse. So many things happened there. I think she's got a lot of Hamlet lines in her. Ta-da! Bravo! Thank you! Okay. <laughs> yes. That Bravo. was great, Mom! Yay. That Thank was really you. great! You're too kind. Everyone, that was good. Very musical. And, and very good progress on the drums, Cody. Thank you. Yeah. But I think that we can, we can go beyond thematic improvisation. Wim Ferros gave us a time capsule. We have his coaster now, and we will use everything on it to replay his music. Ta-da! Thank you! Yay. Yay. And we will do this soon, listeners. I guarantee that Wim Ferros will sing. He will sing inside of you as he sings inside of me. And as he sings inside of my mom, somewhere in there, with the Shakespeare. Thank you! <laughs> Does he sing in me? Well, yes, he will sing inside of Cody, our young neighbor, who ingested Wim Ferris's 
Blasher's gum today, thus true. consecrating himself to the music. Consecration? <laughs> <laughs> does, does he sing in Rod? And Rod, yes. In him too. Rod, drink the Kool-Aid. Oh, what? Will you, um, I don't know, could you I don't, maybe take a sip of Wimferos's Kool-Aid squeeze? You know, as a symbol, as a way to commune with the artist. It's very, very old. Please, Rod, it's important. It's symbolic, Rod. Oh. Rod. Okay, okay, David, Rod, I, I will. I, I had the gum. Okay. Mm, wow. Tastes exactly like it did. Can really? I try? Uh, sure. Okay. Yum! <laughs> Whoa! People of Rosemary Hills, <laughs> I'm Deirdre Gardner. These are my very special guests. Rod Reeder, Cody Elwood, and Mom. This is It Makes a Sound. Hooray! Yay! It makes a we sound. thank Wim Ferros for the tremendous gift he has given us. Mm -hmm. He has left us the blueprint for his music. The work is laid out before us. We must decipher and decode his tiny scrawl containing lyrics and chords. We are ready and willing soldiers. We are special agents here at the front lines of genius. And we will begin Deirdre, now. Deirdre, I have to pee. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, Oopsie. Okay, I can take him. Uh, can you help me, Mrs. G? Oh. Why don't we go downstairs and show Cody the bathroom? Isn't that fun? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Deirdre. That's okay. Sorry. 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 Go ahead. Uh, I'll be right down. Sorry. Uh, I'll be right down to help. Oh, apologies. Sorry, Deirdre. Oh, my regret. I beg you for Sorry, Charles. Listeners, we have everything we need. Leave it to me. You leave it to me. I will take the coaster. I will transcribe the tiny handwriting. I will untangle the cords. I shall take the sword from Wim's stone so that we may at last have his music. Prepare yourself for our next episode when the music of Wim Ferros will return to your impatient ears. But also in the meantime, if you have any information about Wim Ferros that you think should be shared with our listeners or have any expertise in repairing analog technology, you should still contact me at itmakesasound at aol.com. Thank you. Until next time, comrades. Thanks again to Zola, reinventing the wedding registry to make the happiest moment in a couple's life even happier. Zola is easy to use for couples and their guests and has an amazing customer service team, so there's no worry, there's no hassle, all is calm, all is bright. With over 500 top brands and 50,000 gifts and experiences, Zola Registry has everything you love about your favorite department store, plus things like honeymoon funds, fitness classes, wine subscriptions, and a lot more. So remember to sign up now and get $50 credit towards your registry at Zola.com slash sound. That's Zola, Z-O-L-A dot com slash sound. It Makes a Sound is written by Jacqueline Landgraf, co-directed by Jacqueline Landgraf and Anya Saffer. Sound designed and mixed by me, Vincent Cachion. Original music composed by Nate Wida, with lyrics by Nate Wida and Jacqueline Landgraf. With Jacqueline Landgraf as Deirdre Gardner, Annie Golden as Deirdre's mom, Nate Wida as Rod Reeder, and Melissa Mahoney as Cody Elwood. It Makes a Sound is a Night Vale Presents production. For more information on this show and other Night Vale podcasts, go to nightvalepresents.com. It's holiday time, and might we recommend It Makes a Sound t-shirts and posters for all the Wim Farrow's fans on your list? If you want them in the next few weeks, you gotta order now. We dispatch a flock of peacocks to get them to you, and they take their winter vacation very seriously. Follow the link to our show page at Night Vale Presents to purchase. You can follow It Makes a Sound on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And an easy and nice way to show your support is to write a review on iTunes. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Remember to seal your time capsule in airtight containers. And remember Wim Ferros. Hey, 
Hey, I'm Dylan Marin, and this is Conversations with People Who Hate Me, the show where I call up some of the folks who have said hateful or negative things about me on the internet. You can listen to Dylan's conversation wherever you love listening to podcasts. Just search Conversations with People Who Hate Me. And remember, there's a human on the other side of the screen.